when we multiply matrices together, one of the things we have to make sure about is we have to make sure that the number of columns in the first matrix must equal the number of rows in the second matrix. For example, an M by N matrix multiplied by an N by P matrix will produce an M by P matrix. I know that sounds really, really abstract, so let me make it a little bit more concrete. Let's say we have a 2 by 3 matrix. So we have, let's just make it easy, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is a 2 by 3 matrix. Then the any matrix we multiply this by, to be able to actually multiply it, it has to have three rows. So what we should end up with is a three row, and let's say I do a three by one. And we'll just say nine, eight, seven. <clears throat> so here, I wanna make sure that these two numbers match up. The number of columns in the first matrix and the number of rows in the second matrix. If they do, then my resulting matrix, there we go, will end up being a two by one matrix. Now we'll look at some examples in ac of actually multiplying these through. Okay. This is the general procedure. First, we wanna check. We have a two by two, two by two, so that checks out. Our two middle numbers are the same, we're good, and this should give us a two by two matrix. There we go. To figure out what the product of these two matrices should be, this is what I suggest that you do. Take your first matrix, one, zero, four, five. Leave space for what your new matrix should be. Take the second matrix and set it up top. Two, negative three, negative one, eight. There's a reason for this setup. So down here we have our two by two matrix. The red is gonna be the product. To figure out this first element in your red matrix, what you do is you take the first row of your first matrix and the first column of your second matrix. You're gonna multiply the first elements together. So you're gonna take two times one and then add it with the second elements being multiplied together. Zero times negative one. We're gonna need to make this matrix bigger. Okay, now you do the same thing with the first row and the second column. We take one times negative three plus zero times eight. Those are the first two elements of our new matrix. To figure out the bottom row, we take the bottom row of your first matrix and then the first column of the second matrix. We multiply the first elements together, we get two, four times two, plus the second elements being multiplied together, five times negative one. And finally, we're gonna take the bottom row and then the second column. We get four times negative three plus five times eight. We can now simplify. Two times one is two, plus zero times one is, negative one is zero. One times negative three is negative three plus zero. We get eight minus five and negative 12 plus 40. Let's give us a little bit more room to finish our simplification. We now get two, negative three, three, and then 28. And that is our final answer. So matrix one, zero, four, five by two, negative three, negative one, eight, we multiply together gives us two, negative three, three, twenty-eight. Okay, let's try one more example before I let you try one on your own. 